Hello Taurus, welcome to a love reading all about the energies between you and the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Taurus watching. Um, we're also going to be looking at where all of this is headed in the near future. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides for Taurus, please. What do we need to know about how the person that Taurus is thinking about or connecting with? What are their energies, thoughts, intentions towards Taurus? What are they thinking? feeling what are their energies towards Taurus at this time now this reading will be for those of you that are in a connection or have someone in mind all right Taurus what is their person thinking feeling about Taurus I'm confused okay what are their person thoughts feelings what are they thinking feeling about Taurus what are they thinking feeling you make me happy. What's at the bottom of the deck? Please forgive me. Okay, so I feel like this person, um, they know that um, you make them happy or they feel very happy around you, maybe you're very positive. You're probably a positive influence in their life. But I think that's confused is that they don't quite know where they stand or where your connection is headed. And it's possibly because there's something that happened that they need to be forgiven for or an apology or some sort of closure that needs to happen here what else do we need to know spirit for taurus what are the energies that this person is bringing to the connection with taurus what do we need to know spirit by the way these are all of my own oracle decks if you want to check them out they're linked below um, there's going to be a few second editions of these decks coming out soon so I'll be featuring them on the channel when they do come out. It's going to be the Secret Moon Oracle deck and the Guidance deck. All right, what else? What else do we need to know, Spirit? What else do we need to know about this person's energies? Mirrored Souls, Hidden Motives. Okay, can I get one more? Yeah, there's something here. Um, either this person can't, for some reason, they can't express how they feel towards you or they're high, they've hidden something from you or there's like a, uh, secrets or hidden motives tied to this despite the fact that this is a soulmate connection and i have mirrored souls with time out so i'm almost thinking of like divine timing here and then there's patiently waiting at the bottom of the deck so this could be that someone has been patiently waiting for you you've been patiently waiting for them but time is running out or someone needs to stop hiding Kind of what i'm getting here what else do we need to know for taurus what are their person's thoughts energies feelings intentions towards taurus what do we need to know for taurus what are their thoughts feelings intentions towards taurus what do we need to know you are the only person for me. I will. I am willing to do anything for us to be together. So yeah. So I feel like this person. Um, you are not with them. Um, I think you're not together. I think that this person possibly caused a rift between you, or there's something that happened where someone could have made a mistake here and affected the connection in a way where you're not together anymore. Um, this person, I feel like they, I, I'm getting, um, an energy of someone that's almost like they refuse to be with anybody else or think of anyone else as their person. So let's get some more energies, please. Top row is going to be what they're thinking, feeling about you, Taurus. Bottom row is going to be their thoughts, not their thoughts, their intentions or next actions towards you. Messages, messages please, guidance for Taurus regarding this person that they are thinking about or connecting with at this time what do we need to know okay so let's see what we get for you and what they're thinking or feeling about you we have the six of swords the five of cups 
and the higher font reverse well there you are Taurus yeah definitely this person um they must have left this connection or you left the connection um with the six of swords and there's regrets tied to that disappointment pain um a loss with the five of cups and I think this was a commitment that was broken or a promise that was broken um maybe they just really messed with you Taurus Okay, what are their next intentions or actions here? We have the Ten of Cups. Okay. The Six of Wands reverse. And the Tower. Hmm. Well, this, this is uh, interesting. <laughs> the Tower with the Ten of Cups. Um, and then the Six of Wands reverse tells me that there's delayed success here, perhaps. Um, what's at the bottom of the deck? Ace of Swords reverse. Yeah, there's something that needs to be said. I don't think I don't think someone has been open or honest about how they feel or about their intentions. Tell me more, Spirit, more clarity, please, for Taurus. Uh, I find it fascinating that their next actions are going to be the Tower and the Ten of Cups. I feel like this person is going to do something very unexpected, Taurus. So let's see what's going on here. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Fool. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups. You need to know. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to turn things around. I feel like they, yeah, Six of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. Um, it's like they might want to return this person with this offer, this Knight of Pentacles. Um, have a do-over with the Fool. Start over a new beginning. I feel like with the Five of Cups and the Fool, I'm almost getting like this person just wants to like leave the past baggage behind and just move forward into a whole new cycle here. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Three of Swords. Yeah, this departure was painful. Whatever happened between you, and it could not it could be that you're still with this person, but there's a huge rift between you. Big uh very very um like an emotional distance. Yeah, and there's the 5 of pentacles. So, it could be that you physically separated um and it was very painful for both of you or at least one of you. Um or it could be that there's a huge emotional distance or rift between an existing connection. Um Tell me about the higher font reverse. Why is the higher font reverse? Why is the higher font reverse, please? Queen of Swords. Okay, so I feel like this is um like the truth of something. Maybe there was some sort of um, realization that someone had about the other person's behavior, a conversation that um, was honest or some sort of truth uh, was discovered because Queen of Swords is kind of like the investigator or she gets to the bottom of things and nothing gets past her. It could be that someone decided, you decided perhaps, Taurus, because the Hierophant is here reverse, you decided to cut out this commitment or cut this commitment um out of your life or something like that can i get one more for the higher font reverse or whatever truth or conversation this was ended a commitment or fractured a commitment the emperor aries energy ah uh, man see the emperor and the, and the queen of swords they're not emotional they are more concerned about the outcome the truth structure order when i see them together i think you don't want to mess with this person um, the, the emperor is a doer. So the emperor, they're focused on getting a, a project done, uh, a, a challenge that's overcome. They have like plans for that, or they take control, they take charge of the situation. And so I feel like this is probably somebody that took charge of the situation, got to the bottom of something, or took charge of a, 
And, and this is what your person's thinking or feeling. So either they're viewing you at, as this person, the Emperor, the Queen of Swords, very hard to approach these two. You don't come to them with like BS. So, okay, so what I'm getting here, I'm starting to think that your person is trying to be an emperor. They are probably going to come forward and present themselves as an emperor energy. And maybe with the Queen of Swords, they'll be uh, very um, serious, open, honest um, about what they want to do. And this is after there's a broken commitment or fractured commitment. But the Ace of Swords is reversed at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like they either this is them being actually honest with you about something. Or you need to watch out what they say. And I only say that because the Seven of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Now this could be that I'm confused energy that we saw earlier. Someone that's trying to figure out what's the best approach. But this could also be that someone could choose the wrong cup. They might go about things the wrong way. So that's what they're thinking or feeling. I feel like they, they're thinking about the pain, the difficulty that has happened or the pain, the difficulty they're experiencing now because of what's happened. You know, the Three of Swords isn't, hasn't been easy for them, for you. Uh, but I feel like they want to have a do-over with the Fool. So let's look at their true intentions, next actions. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Seven of Pentacles, again, with the timing. So I feel like this is a delayed success, delayed victory for, for this person because they're waiting for something or they're anxious about the outcome. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Yeah, the hangman. This person is not taking the action needed. That's not good. You know, it's like somebody that pictures um, winning something but never enters the competition, you know. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups, please. What do we need to know about the Ten of Cups? Wow, we have the Tower again. And the Nine of Wands. So what I'm getting here is that someone's possibly going to cause a tower, Six of Cups. This person's probably going to cause a tower. Um, let's see what this tower is about. And it, for some reason, they think this is going to give them their happy ending. Tell me about the tower over here. What do we need to know about the tower? What do we need to know about this tower spirit? The star, Aquarius energy. What do we need to know about this tower? Why is the tower here? The hermit, wow, Virgo energy. What do we need to know about this tower? Can I get one more before I talk about what I see? Yeah, the eight of swords and 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person thinks they have no other choice but to cause a tower. Um, Possibly because they don't see a way out of the situation unless it's like a big show or a big um, demonstration. Um, with the Hermit, I get that this person's thinking about this like on their own. Um, and all they're thinking about is how do they get this star? You know, hope, faith, healing. How do they make this happen? Their wish. Let me get one more for this tower. Um, oh, wow. There's the Ace of Swords. This could be um, communication. Tell me more about this tower. What else do we need to know about this tower, Spare? What do we need to know? Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person is going to come forward, Taurus, and I feel like they're going to make like a big... Um, the word is demonstration, but I know there's more than that. It's almost like they're going to be making a big... Uh, yeah, Page of Cups. They're going to be making a big, uh, like, like expression of, I don't know, like, um, how do I, I don't know what the word is, but it's almost like they're, they're it's like a, an exaggerated expression of their desire. So I'm picturing, like, you know, when in the movie someone comes to the girl's house with, like, a boombox, you know, in the whole building or the whole neighborhood knows what's happening it's like a public display of affection or something like that 
I feel like this person could also just surprise you because th they haven't really talked about this before with the high priestess. Um, maybe when, whatever happened between you hasn't truly been discussed. There hasn't been real closure. And so if when this person finally shows up, you're like, what are you doing here? What's this all about? Can I get one more energy for it? their next intentions actions and i think in their mind you know this is this is the way to go about it i don't know if that's the right way to go about it because you know the tower i feel is going to be almost like a shock to you what do we intend about their intentions yeah so this person is very motivated they're this is like the queen of wands of this deck they're motivated they have this I feel like they just have to take action. Like they can't sit still about this. Um, they have no idea how this is going to end up for them. I feel like in their mind, they don't know what your response will be. And um, maybe you cut off communication with them or something like that for them to be wondering, you know, what you're really thinking um, or how, how this is going to work. But that's what I have for you and how they.